All right, everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil Village. Today, we're going to start off trying to do this, like, castle tilting puzzle, and then we'll leave, and I don't know exactly where we need to go. I, the, the, pretty much the beginning of every session, I, I have no clue, apparently, what to do. So we'll have to try to figure that out. I think, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll just worry about this later. We'll jump into this, like, tilty puzzle, which I don't know if this is some sort of key item or a treasure. I guess we'll find out when I actually do get it. So we'll try to jump into this and figure this out. This might this might take a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what exactly is kind of happening with this puzzle, but we'll see. Oh, we got these. Oh shit! Hold on. This. Uh, oh, that, that that tilts a little slowly. It's okay. Here we go. Dump that there. Okay. Well, wait. Oh wait. Actually, I didn't need to wait. I should have just went. Ah, that wasn't that wasn't too bad. I don't know if I need to get like multiple. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Oh, you have to redo... Oh, you have to get it in the little, like, glowy hole. Yeah, you have to... Okay. Well, this could take a couple tries. Well, get it, getting the ball to there isn't super hard. I'm sure I'll screw up and dump it off of the bridge this time, but... Apparently getting it into the correct hole is the difficult part, which that is always the, dif the difficult part for some people. Hopefully, uh, it only takes a couple tries, but... Will, uh, I can't really see. Yeah, I can't really... Can't really see. Oh, hey, you can rotate a little bit. Okay. So you can rotate that. We can rotate that way as well. Maybe I should do that. If I can, like, slow the ball down quite a bit. Once I get over there, we, we will hopefully be good to go. I didn't think this would be the hardest part of the... Of the, like, tilting puzzle. Like, I thought it was gonna be a little more puzzly. But it's more so, like, the difficult part is just kind of trying to get it into the the dang correct hole. I can't really, like, I can't really get this angled the way I want. Because, like, I can see from, like, over here, right? But that, like, that doesn't really help when I'm trying to get kind of, like, a, a bird's... Like, I want a bird's eye view. And I feel like the camera just is, is not cooperating here. <laughs> Which kind of leads me to feel like I'm doing something wrong. Oh, I might have just gotten... Might have just gotten by. Oh, come on, really? Don't go over there. Right here. Get in. Get in the hole, damn it. There you go. Third time's the charm, I think. Hey, get the ball rolling? What's that? Solve a labyrinth. Okay. We got a crystal skull. Someone did inform me that you can combine some treasure, which is kind of unfortunate for me. Crystallized human remains found in the labyrinth in Castle Dimitrescu. I have a couple things to talk about here. One, someone did let me know that you can combine certain treasures, which uh, I should have assumed that way because that's how Resident Evil 4 was with treasures, but I did not assume that with this game, so I might have sold some treasures that you can combine. I think someone let me know that it, it specifically says if you can combine it with something, but I don't really know where that's at. I don't really see that here. Maybe if I examine it. I'm not sure if I can put something in, like, the eye sockets here. So I am aware that you can apparently combine treasures in the treasures with each other in this game. Though I'm not exactly sure what that looks like. I'm not sure if you just kind of have to assume that or it tells you. I think, I think someone did let me know that it tells you, but I'm not exactly sure where it will tell you. So maybe I just want to sell that or maybe I just want to keep it. I'm not sure. Other than that, I did kind of look up how to pronounce uh, Dimitrescu, but... Unfortunately, it really didn't help me very much because I found, like, I don't know, four, seriously, like, four different ways to pronounce it. One one way said Dimitresh or something like that. Another way said Dimitresk. I think Ethan calls her Domitresk. And also, I think the name is based off of Romanian. And it's pronounced Dimitrescu or something similar. Now, of course, anyone who's Romanian is probably laughing at the way I pronounce that because it's probably not accurate at all. It's probably, like, not really close, but not really, like, completely butchering it. So there's apparently a couple different Seeking ways to pronounce that name. And, uh, unfortunately, I didn't really learn anything. Please do take a look at my new stock. 8,000 for the Crimson Skull. Very valuable. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't really know what I'm looking for when it, when it comes to combining tre treasures with each other. Which kind of sucks. I would assume that, like, maybe you, you kind of go into your treasure thing here and you you examine it. And it's like, can, can be combined with other things. Uh, I don't really know what you would put into this besides something maybe into, like, 
from my per well from our perspective the left eye socket but from like the actual skull's perspective the right eye socket uh the the one eye socket looks like it's kind of covered up by some crystal growing through it but the the left one or the right one i guess depending on what perspective you want to use does look clear the nose also does look clear as well but maybe i'll just sell that yeah. But yeah, the, the, trying to figure out how to pronounce the name really didn't do anything for me because, I don't know, I found like four different ways to pronounce it. So I'll probably just call her Dimitrescu, which is probably th the wrongest way you could say that. But we'll move on from there. We only have one mask in one of these, I think. Did I not put... Oh, sh oh come on, really? Why are you here? She's just going to follow us around a lot. Which is going to be very unfortunate. I'm just going to run into the safe room every time and just kind of hope she she despawns out of here. Let me check my key items. Do I still have that mask on me? Yes, I do. What mask is this? Wasn't this like the double one? Yeah, this is the double one. Please tell me you're gone. Oh, will you just go back to your room already, please? No one wants you wandering the main halls. At least I don't. Let's all take a drink. Uh, other than that, I did have some. Oh yeah, the uh, the little. The, remember in like part one where I talked about that like super long orange juice carton that I found, and I found it like kind of funny that it was just super duper long. Apparently, that's pretty common in Europe. Europe? I, I said Europe. <laughs> Europe. It, apparently, that's pretty common in Europe. I I'm not saying they don't exist at all in the U.S., but. I haven't really seen too many that are, like, super-duper long, but apparently that's something more common in Europe. And, again, Romania. Romania coming up quite a bit here. I know someone who is from Romania said that, like, oh, those are, like, really common here, actually. And it's like, I don't really remember seeing those a whole lot where I'm at. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I'm really going to be able to lose her. So we're going to have to kind of figure this out with her just kind of trailing me, I guess. And I'm not exactly... Well, yeah, we do have the we do have the Iron Insignia key. I'm not sure exactly where there are doors at that I can go. I know we've seen at least, like, two or three of these. I should probably check the map for this. Uh, other than that, we do have this key, which probably still opens some doors because I still have it in my inventory. I think the best thing to do is to probably try to look at the map and see where I could possibly go. This is where we came in to begin with, so that's probably not going to bring me anywhere. Can I go down this elevator yet? I'm not sure. Maybe I should check that elevator? Can't remember what we need there. I, d I doubt that I'll be able to do anything with that. Also seems like I missed some items in this hall over here. Though I'm not sure where I would have missed something. She's pro oh man, she's just going to follow me the whole time. This isn't really surprising, I guess, but... I wish she would just... Oh my god, she's so fast, actually. She's actually scared me. Why is she so fast? She comes in everywhere. You can't lose her. She knows how to duck. You can't, you can't do anything about it. Oh, did I get myself screwed over here? Maybe I can just zip past her. Let me through. Let me through, damn it. Oh, fucking god. I'm just gonna leave. Dude, she can, she can move when she wants to. That's for sure. Maybe I'll come back here a little bit later and look for some items. But, uh, yeah, some interesting things to talk about. I'm sure my thoughts were a little bit jumbled. I was just kind of sitting in the room doing nothing for a little bit. And now I'm trying to run away from her. I know, I know there was something downstairs. There was, yeah, there was a door down there. I don't remember exactly how to get down there. Probably here. This goes upstairs, actually. Man, how did you get down there? There's a lock pick there. Oh, yeah, here's another door. I really don't remember how to get back to some of these areas, so I guess if I take... I mean, maybe I can just, like, go through that, actually. If I take too long, I can always chop some of it out. Because I probably don't want people sitting around watching me, like, be lost the whole time. That, uh, that can definitely get a little bit boring, but... Oh, man, there's still a bunch of enemies out here, too. Man, this kind of... Ugh, this really sucks. Bait out an attack. We bait out an attack, and then we run. Or we just... Oh, come on, really? 
We bait out an attack, and then we run into an enemy, and we completely forget about what we just talked about. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to go through this and see where this brings me. Got the opera hall. We got. We can go upstairs. I need to go back downstairs. That's it's one of the problems that I'm having right now. I think we've already read. Yeah, we've already read this stuff. It's also well. I guess there is an item or something up here that I did miss. Oh, it's probably the lockpick, right? Opening up this map a lot. Unfortunately for me, I do kind of have to open up the map a lot to kind of get an idea of where I'm going. Otherwise, I just I just forget pretty quickly. But we made it to at least one of the doors here. Which is great. What am I looking like for health? Maybe I should make another healing item if I can. Yeah, I, I do have quite a few, so... We'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> Oh, for the love of God. So you finally came to see me. Everyone falls asleep. God, these stupid flies. Well, I'm assuming maybe I can, like, shoot the... Maybe I can shoot the ceiling and, like, break this open. Dang it. No, it's not. They got reinforced windows. Can I get out of here? Nope. Won't be getting out of there. Shotgun ammo. Okay. Probably does chip damage to me as well. What does this do? Oh, it opens the window. Okay. Uh, we got. A, I got a pipe bomb. Maybe I can frag out with the pipe bomb. Frag out. So mean. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm serious. This is a dream. I'm dead fucking serious. Oh, now she just wants to run away. Oh, what the? Why are you doing this? Oh, it's closing. I open it back up. Oh, you don't want to die. She doesn't want to die, but she'll attack me. No, get out of here. She doesn't want to die, but she'll kill me. No qualms about killing me. Yeah, I am sick of bugs. Another crystal torso. Let me try to take a look at this treasure, too. Well, that's like, what, two of the daughters down? How many daughters were there? Two or three? I think there was three, right? Well, we've got two-thirds of them out of here. Yeah, I would also imagine that, like, if you could combine something, there would probably be, like, an extra, like, an extra option here, right? Because there's, there doesn't really appear to be, what was that? Oh, don't even, oh, it's just the, God, I thought it was, I thought it was, uh, Lady Dimitres coming in with her, like, big-ass claw. I would also imagine that if you can combine stuff, you would have an extra option here. Because I don't really think there's a, there's a specific button that I can hit that would, that would let me combine them. So maybe I am just safe to sell these. I'll really have to keep an eye out for that. And like I said, I'm sorry if I already sold some stuff that I could have gotten a little bit of extra money out of, but we'll uh, we'll see as time goes on. Of course, there is always the option that uh, you can't combine treasures, and I don't know what I'm talking about. Because I haven't, I don't think I've seen something that I can combine yet, or I haven't realized it. So I haven't really confirmed it myself, you know? It's just information that I've gotten from somewhere else. And I, I don't imagine, pe people normally don't, like, mislead me super hard. They don't, they don't really lie to me or mislead me, I would say. So usually I take people at face value for, for kind of what they tell me. But at the same time, I'm also kind of weird because I... I, I'm not usually really looking for, like, a lot of help or a lot of hints. And I do appreciate people who do want to help out and who do want to try to give me some hints. But at least for, like, a, a first playthrough, you know, for, for me just kind of going through the game on my own, I kind of like just going through it and just kind of taking my wins and losses as they come, you know. I'm not sure if that really, like, lines up with how other people like to do stuff. It's kind of weird because most people aren't really going to be, like, recording the game or streaming it, you know. So I, I think that kind of differs. It's kind it's kind of a unique situation for me. Also, this area is done so I think it's kind of more so unique to to people who stream and record because obviously if you don't have anyone watching you, then you you really don't run into this. But I do appreciate everyone who tries to help, and I I do I do like getting some advice, like you know being able to combine treasures. Of course, that's kind of something that is. It's not really, like, super spoilery, and it's not super game-breaking, like, 
I, game, I'm using game breaking pretty loosely as well. It doesn't. It doesn't really make the game like. It's hard to describe. It's really. It's really just kind of hard to describe for me. I would say, but I do appreciate the help. But at the same time, I'm also not looking for a ton of help. And I know that I do some like silly stuff. And where are we at actually? I know I do silly stuff and I forget about stuff and I, I miss mechanics. Oh no. I don't think you're gonna find Cassandra. I think she's dead. I can give you her crystal torso. Oh, she's sending. She's sending the last daughter. She's only got one daughter. Let the five bells of this chamber ring out. Okay, so we gotta ring some bells. Ooh, we got a nice big portrait. Light, actually, pretty close to her actual size. I would say. Of course, a little bit bigger, but you know. It's like a, a turtle tortoise type thing here. We got like a, I don't know what kind of, what exact animal that is, but. I don't think I ever really finished my thought with the, the whole like getting advice, but I, th I think people will probably get, kind of get the picture of what I'm trying to say. I'm kind of weird in that like some, some pieces of advice I'm happy to get and other piece of, pieces of advice that's kind of like, Okay, so there's a bell over there. Do I have to shoot the bells? I'm just kind of weird, you know. I don't. I'm not sure if you could really find a pattern, and what kind of advice, like minor advice, I would say, like stuff that doesn't really spoil things or like possibly isn't too backseaty. I don't know. Like I said, it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to explain. Other than that, we're app apparently supposed to ring some bells. Let the five bells of this chamber ring out. The only... Well, there's a bell here, actually. So that's one. Are they all in this general general room, then? Because there's one right there. It now has a flame on it. I don't think it had a flame before. Uh, there's a little bell right up there, actually. Yeah, a little a little flame does come out once you hit it. So that's the second one. So they're prob they probably all are in this little room. I just have to spot them out. There was also that one bell that I saw that was kind of out of the window. The yeah, like over there. Do I have to shoot it again? Did that not count? Damn it. No, that it didn't count the first time. There's another bell up there. So that should be, what, four? Once, yeah, I think we're at four. So there's one bell somewhere. Of course, this one bell is going to be hell to find. It is, this this bell is going to be like a nightmare. I thought I thought that was it, actually. I'm like, oh. I, oh, it's right there. It's actually right there. It swings around. So I can probably wait for it to get here because it kind of slows down once it gets there, right? That should be all five. What's my reward, baby? Some. Some. Oh, it's the, the big old painting opens up. That's pretty cool. The Hall of Joy. Cool. Got all this done. Well, that was, that was pretty fun. Isn't there a section in Resident Evil 4? I don't know if it was 4. There's another Resident Evil where you have to shoot some like a bell or some other objects i can't remember what resident evil that was though maybe it was six it might have been six four four doesn't sound correct and neither does five it might have been six got a nice little window here i'm assuming this is probably one of the ways we need to go and right, we'll see we'll see where it brings us what am i looking on ammo Actually, I'm looking pretty good on ammo. Unfortunately, I, you know, I kind of want to get that landmine schematic so I can make my own landmines because that seems really good for, like, beefy enemies or bosses. The first two daughters, one of them, I'm sure, like, the landmines seem to have really helped. And then the other one, I had a pipe bomb. Well, that is probably an alive enemy, if I had to guess. A treasure map? 
dungeon, kitchen, tre we got a treasure map. Anything on the back of this? Yeah, there's something on the back of this. There's an heirloom worth a fortune in that nobleman's casket, but there's a damn trick to it. Something about lighting the way? So if you get there from, like, the kitchen... I can never get this, like, the way I want it. There we go. It's a little bit better. So we get there from, like, maybe the kitchen. We go to the dungeon. There's some treasure in a room. It might be locked behind... It might be locked behind one of these iron insignia doors. I'll have to try to keep an eye out on that. I'm kind of worried this thing's alive. Let me see if there's any more enemies around here that might pop up. No, it doesn't... Doesn't really look like it. Did I read this? I don't think so. I heard there was something called the Dagger of Death's Flowers somewhere in this castle. It's apparently an antique from the Middle Ages that's coated in a concoction of poisons from across the continent. It's said to have been crafted to kill demons and monsters. It sounds fascinating, but no one knows where it is. The Dagger of Death's Flowers. I wonder if that's how we kill uh, Lady Dimitrescu. 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 Dimitris. I have to get every single pronunciation of the name that I found. There's a ladder up here? This looks suspicious, right? This also looks kind of like oddly placed window. I don't know. This ladder looks suspicious as hell. I'm just going to assume this enemy is alive, and of course it is alive. So. Ooh, tried to dodge. Didn't quite get it. I'm surprised I didn't miss any bullets there. Oh, there's another lockpick. We've got another lockpick. I think there is a second thing to lockpick in here somewhere. Yeah, wherever this is. There's at least one there. Also another thing there. Well, we've got a lockpick. Probably get some more supply. Oh, there's a goat! Third goat. I think that's goat number three. Beautiful. Also today, I know, er, completely irrevel- irre Holy crap. Hold on, let me restart that. Let me get back into position. Act like I never said that. I know this is completely irrelevant to the playthrough, but just like in part one, I've got a shirt stat- Oh, there's a sniper rifle. I've got a shirt status announcement for everyone. I am wearing a shirt. Also, I have not enough space in my inventory. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess, depending on how you look at it, I, uh, it's kind of like, it's cool, it's cooler today in my room, so I, uh, I don't have, or I, I, I'm sorry, I do have a shirt on, so I know, I know everyone wanted to know. I need to move this, maybe I can like, oh man, I don't quite have enough. What can I, what can I get rid of? Like, it's, it's gonna take like this whole bottom section. Ouch. I can always... I can always try to go back and do some item management. Well, I would probably want to sell one of my treasures and then upgrade my inventory. Dang it. I knew I should have upgraded my inventory. I didn't think the sniper rifle was going to take up that much space, though. I'm not exactly sure what the fastest way to do this is. Like, I kind of want to just backtrack and come back. This is going to be kind of a waste of time no matter what, unless I get rid of, like... I would have to get rid of the knife or something. I'm not sure if I, I'm really going to be, like, using the knife. Can I even, like, discard stuff anyway? Yeah, I can, I can get rid of that. I can't discard the knife. I wonder if... Maybe I can kind of Tetris this a little bit. I don't think so, though. Let me let me try to let me try to Tetris this. Cause I need this like whole bottom section kinda. I don't I don't think there's gonna be a way I can do this. Like the only thing I can do is kinda not not do that. The only thing I can do is kinda slot that there. I would have to get rid of seven pistol bullets or three shotgun shells to do this. Or a healing item. I might I might just get rid of the the pistol bullets. That really sucks though. I really don't want to get rid of any ammo, but I think I think I might actually do this. I might get rid of the the seven pistol bullets just so I don't have to do a whole bunch of backtracking here. Kind of unfortunate, but 
probably not the worst thing to lose. Though at this point, I also will not be able to pick up anything else until I until I get back and I'm able to manage my inventory. And I get the feeling that I might be able to pick up some extra stuff around here. Let me let me just kind of move forward a little bit here. Kind of get an idea of, like, what's out here. Maybe there's, a. Uh... Oh! There's flying bat enemies. Maybe I can waste... Not necessarily waste, but... Maybe I can use a little ammo here. Yeah, these guys are just going to be flying around, huh? If I had to guess, maybe you're supposed to use the sniper here to snipe him out of the sky. But I uh, <laughs> I couldn't pick it up, so... Oh, there's an elevator here. Does this go to where I hope it goes? Does this go to that one elevator that I wasn't able to get working, like, way earlier? This could be really good, actually. This might go to where I think it goes, and then I just kind of have to figure out how to, how to get back to the merchant, upgrade my stuff. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I remember the boots. The boots. The boots are the way marker here. Now I've just got to do a little bit of running. I also need to remember how to get back here. Oh, it's like this room. Okay. Apparently there's still potentially some... Like an item here that I might have missed. I can also try to pick up whatever that... Like this is. Since I do have a lockpick on me. Got some spooky music coming in here. Oh, of course, that's why. Don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Thank you. Hey, can you go out there and fight that lady for me? Like, I could use an extra set of hands when uh, <laughs> when fighting her, please. That would be great. Shall I choose something for you? Uh, let's go ahead and... I think I'll just sell this stuff. As far as I know, there's... there's I don't know how to combine stuff, or even if you can combine this stuff right now, so this this might be a bit of a waste. So I'm sorry if I upset anybody by selling this, even though, if, even if you can combine it. I'm just going to sell it. Now, We're this selling is something them. To splurge on. You only get a 1,000 for a lockpick? You can sell a lockpick for a 1,000. Interesting. They're so rare right now that I don't know why I you would want to sell a lockpick. Are you ever going to, like... Sell me lockpicks. All right. First and foremost, I'm getting this. Ah, so you noticed that? Inventory expanded. I still have like 8,300. What does my inventory have look a like now? Adventure. That's looking a little better. I gotta say, that's looking that's looking a little beefier. I don't know exactly by how much it expanded, but it definitely looks. I think it expanded by those two like columns on the right. I think I think these two columns are like brand new, maybe. Seeking something in particular. Let's see what else they've got. Doesn't really seem like a ton. I could I could get the landmine schematic or the blueprint. I'm not exactly sure. It's a well, I guess it's just called a recipe, so. Schematic, blueprint, recipe, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? I can also get this hair trigger for the shotgun, which would increase its fire rate, which would be pretty good because I was messing around with some audio tests before I started recording, and I was firing the shotgun. It fires pretty slowly, so that could be good. Other than that, I could do a little bit of upgrading for one of my weapons. Maybe go more all-in on the pistol. There are more upgrades to get, apparently, but they're just not available to me right now, I'm guessing. Because there's, like, four little, uh, like, upgrade bars that looks like you can, like, get more power and stuff out of. But I only have the, the two available to me right now, so I'm not sure when that opens up. Apparently, you can never upgrade the rate of fire for this thing. I have no clue. I think I'm going to get this hair trigger. I think we're going to go ahead and get this. I think that might be a decent idea. That or the the uh, schematic for the landmines. I might I might try to get this next. Let me buy this. <laughs> Let's go ahead and equip that to the shoddy. Should be able to fire a little bit faster, which is great. I have I'm basically all sorts of weapons modifications, and we'll do them for a small fee. I basically have no money, so unless I want to sell more stuff, which I don't even know what I would sell. The lockpick, obviously. <laughs> Let's sell that lockpick. 
looking we're looking a lot better here now. I'm just gonna go ahead and organize this a a little bit more. It was probably better the other way actually, but do I want to say I might as well save. Let's go ahead and get a save in there. Other than that, let's try to get whatever this lockpick is. Maybe... I hope she's not out here. I just want to be able to do this, like, cleanly without really having to worry about her. She... Oh, come on, really? Oh, God! Oh, no. This isn't where I want it. Where's this lockpick thing at? It's over here. Just let me lockpick this. Of course, I got one of the daughters chasing me. Open, damn it! Shoddy, yes. Oh, crap. Just let me leave. Oh, the door? Come on. Alright, well, at least I got... I, it was like some shotgun ammo. Oh, for the love of God, really? Oh, my God. This sucks. I got both of them trailing me. I guess one of them kind of gave up. Seems like when the big lady shows up, the daughters kind of leave and just let her do whatever she wants, which is great. That's kind of, that seems to be, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I'm unlucky right now. What item is in here? What is that? That's definitely something. I need to leave, actually, before she shows up. I'm really worried. I think she's coming in. Oh, she's coming in. Going up, everybody. We're going up. <laughs> Goodbye. There's a treasure there. There's something there. I need to shoot that. I need to shoot that and get that. Well, that was scary. Ran into the third daughter, the final daughter, and then Lady Dimitrescu herself shows up. That was kind of terrifying. What is my health looking like? Yeah, it's at least green. Not looking too bad. I swear to God, I bet you, I bet you shoot this down and you could like, I don't know. You can probably put this in something I sold. Crystal fragment. What does this say? White mineral found in this region could probably sell it. There's still like... At the end of the session, if I really don't know how to... Uh, to combine treasures or like what can be combined with what. I'll probably just kind of look it up to to clarify that so that way I I know what I'm looking for instead of just wondering the whole time, you know. So like once this session is over, I probably will look into that to just clarify whatever information I'm I'm missing and I don't know about. Other than that, I need to find I don't know if there was anything I wanted to do on that on that lower floor. We need to go back and pick up the sniper rifle. First and foremost. That seems like it'll be pretty important to have. I'm probably going to be the worst sniper you've ever seen in your life. So we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. Do I even dare waste any of my sniper ammo trying to snipe these guys out of the sky? Do I even dare do that? I'm really worried about missing. I will miss. I will maybe hit one bullet out of, like, four. Is there really more items that I haven't found here? It just kind of leads me to believe that maybe there's some, like, treasure hidden somewhere that I can, like, shoot down, you know? Because I feel like I've collected mo- Oh, wait, I don't know. We got some gunpowder here. Oh, there you go. It was the gunpowder. Gunpowder in a little box. Now they can move on. God, I want to snipe one of these guys so bad, but it's just... I don't... I have no, zero confidence. Legitimately zero confidence. Oh, shit. What if he, what if he lands? Does he land? Oh, this is terrible. It kind of lands. They are pretty weak, it seems like. Three bullets, and it might be dead. Yep, it's dead. Oh, like 1,200 money? That was really good. 
So I, I'm guessing they're kind of hard to hit, at least like with my aim and on console. With my with my specifically PS5 aim, uh, they're going to be a little bit harder to hit, but seems like they compensate that with a lower health pool. He just dies in three pistol bullets, so. What are we looking at on the map? Yeah, this is going to be a pain to try to find, like, everything. Trying to see if there's, like, any sort of treasure I can shoot down on the wall here, but... Oh, crap. 